Hello, Invoo Creators. Roy here in the Royal Pain Comedy Club, where I'm joined by a legion of NPC avatars because I am more broke than I am famous. <laughs> Since my videos aren't monetized, I don't have to worry about demonetization, so I can be free to do whatever I want in them. I love drawing rabbits. So in this video, I'll be showing how to retrieve textures from an existing product as I make a new sweater using this rabbit design onto one of my older sweaters. This may be useful to those that have misplaced their originals or want to do a quick new version of an existing product like I will be here. Now you could always derive from the base mesh again, but instead I'm going to go into one of my existing products that I've already derived from the mesh, and I'll go into the editor. When you hit save, you'll have a copy of the product saved into your projects, but for this we will need save as. This will make a clone of the new product into your product folder. So I'll give this a new name. Uh, blue sweater, even though it's kind of more of a teal. <laughs> then when you look over to your crate file, you can see it's actually a new one. I usually like to reopen it just to make sure that the cache is clear. But as you can see, it is exactly the same. But if you go to upload it, it will be a new product. And so I'll quickly put on a little outfit here instead of just using the default avatar. Uh, my outfits folder is kind of a mess, but... That one's okay. Just gotta remove the bracelets, I guess. I'd also like to change the avatar to something that's standing up a little bit more straight. I like these ones by uh, Matador. And I'm going to put up one of my rooms for creating purposes. I always like this one. It's good for taking photos, but it's also great for when you're creating since you can change the colors of the backgrounds. Now to get the textures back from the existing product, you go into Documents, your Invu products, and into the new project folder you created with the cloned product. Here you'll be able to get all of your textures back. Of course, this will be just the flat versions and not the originals, but Again, it's very helpful if you're making a quick edit for a new product, or if you lost your originals. Now, so I just imported my rabbit image, and I'm going to set the size. Um, since I made this uh, image a little bit skinnier, I'll actually have to make this half size around the width. I'm also going to touch up the eye a little bit. Uh, well, that looks a little bit spooky. <laughs> I'll have to add another highlight to it. And there we go. Now it's got some life in its eyes. And let's add a little touch of color as well. There we go. A little bit of blue. Now I'm just duplicating the rabbit and merging it down a little bit just to make sure it is uh, fully opaque. That way there's no translucent areas from when I painted it. Now I'll show you the displace tool, which is actually really good for adding a bit of wrinkle to the above image. But first I'll have to make a copy of this that's a little bit blurry so that the image doesn't get uh, too rough from the fabric texture. So you go to Map, Displace, 
and then you select the blurred version of the base image and you can mess around with that it can be a little bit blurry for your image so you should use a bit of caution with it and actually just hide the blurry layer since you don't actually need it to be visible and I'll use another tool underneath the map and this one will be called the bump map and again selecting the blurred one you can actually adjust these and get a little bit of depth to the image now the rabbit image has a bit more depth to it and looks like it is part of the shirt now to get some of the fabric texture what i can actually do is use a soft light and put that over top of the rabbit layer by making this desaturated setting the layer to the soft light and then i'm going to adjust the uh, contrast of the above layer so that it can have a little bit more depth, more how I want it. And when you merge this down, it will only merge down onto the rabbit layer. It won't affect the whole image texture. I'm also going to adjust the rabbit layer opacity down a little bit, just to also help make it look like it is more part of the image. And I'm going to sharpen this a bit too, just to keep everything nice and crisp. With this done, you can actually export this right into the project folder by pressing Control E and you can press apply changes and it is right there. You don't even need to go into your folders or anything. It can update it right away for you. I am going to adjust the positioning a little bit. Um, some avatars have like a bit of a hunched back or twisted poses. So you might want to try them on a couple different avatars first. Now I'm using the warp transform tool to adjust the ears a little bit down. This is really great for editing your image a little bit and you can always go back and forth to see what it looks like with each adjustment. The warp transform tool can sometimes uh, make things a little bit blurry. So again, you might want to edit it and make it a little bit sharp again. Now I'm putting on an avatar with a straight back just so I know everything is lined up properly. This one was made by Syntax. Now I want to adjust the mouth a little bit. It looks a little bit funny since I shrank the image. And I'm just going to use the smudge tool for that just to sort of urge it into the place I want it to be. <laughs> yeah, that's looking good, I'm sure. I also want to add a little bit more shading to the hind leg here. So I'm going to use the color drop tool so I can pick the color and brush a little bit there use multiply to make it darker and just smudge it a little bit and then use the blur tool and that's looking a little bit intense so i'm just going to use the eraser tool get rid of a little bit of it and then blur the edges again here I was thinking about uh, duplicating the rabbit image and coloring it black so I can make a bit more of a defined outline, but I decided against it and to keep the image a little bit softer. Here I'm using the mask select tool just to sharpen up the specific areas I distorted with the warp transform tool just to keep those nice and crisp. I also decided I wanted to tint the overall sweater a little bit closer to the color of the rabbit. So I'm making a new layer and I want to set this layer type to the uh, color one. <laughs> Here I accidentally selected value instead of HSV color. And you can adjust the opacity here and you can see it basically works almost like colorize where it will make the image underneath all the exact same color and I'll do this for the other parts as well and to the same opacity which is at 25 and you can press Control E to export that again directly into the folder and the same for the sleeves And I just want to edit the little bit here a little bit. Just going to add a bit more shading to find it a little bit nicer. 
I use mouse for editing, so you'll often see me uh, hold shift to do the line tool. And it actually is really helpful. Um, here I'm using it in combination with the blur tool just to blur the one edge. And back here too. And I'll just adjust the opacity here. So I don't want it to be too dark. And I'll export that one right into the folder as well. Pressing apply changes and there is my sweater. And I kind of want to go back and add a few more refinements. Uh, mostly to the rabbit's eye. I want to bring out the blue a little bit more. So I'm actually using the pencil tool to kind of pick out a couple pixels. To make them a little bit brighter. I think that should be good. And you can always press Control E again and try it on. I think it needs to be actually blended a little bit better. So again, I'm going to go in and edit it just a little bit more. Now that I'm happy with how this looks, I can submit it as its own brand new product. I also want to note you can only do this with your own products. You can't grab uh, textures from other people's or you can't grab the ones from the product that you're deriving from. It will only have the assets that you added to it. The sweater has passed through peer review, so you can buy it to support me if you want. Link will be in the description.